tonight's edition of That Metal Show. I like the fact that you guys have a new episode on the Thanksgiving long weekend, so we don't have to watch uh, the best of I Love the 80s or whatever they got going. No, I know. And that's the last time Florentine got a comedy gig in the 80s. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we, we love each other. We break horns, like we, we always say. And, um, no, it's good. And I appreciate you guys, how much you guys love the show. Because, man, it's a dream come true. We love doing it. And all metalheads, please check it out. We got Slash coming up in a couple weeks. Oh, yeah. I put him on the spot, whether he would be in a band. If he had to be in one band for the rest of his life, Axel or Scott Weiland. So you got to tune in for that because he had a very definite answer. Cool. Oh, definitely looking forward to that. And we want to just send you off into the night, but we do want to thank you yet again. And you're always welcome to come back on, on the show if you got anything to plug or promote, my friend. I would love to. Thank you guys so much. All right. Man. Enjoy your evening. You too, guys. Bye. Bye. That's Don Jameson from VH1's That Metal Show. And the phone, hey. the phone worked. Oh, that is I can't awesome, believe it. man. <laughs> what a what a good time for our, our the phone. I mean, the phone totally working on that. Yeah. Well, it's because of rock and roll, man. Rock and roll. <laughs> you know. I, I mean. I didn't think he was going to be on. You know, I, I thought, you know, maybe he, he had an engagement. You know, if you, if you get booked in a comedy club or doing something, it's totally on, it's totally cool. I mean, now, if we're doing an interview like Loretta Lynn, <laughs> all hell would break loose, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's 13 away from 9, and uh, wow. We, we'll have to talk. We'll, we'll do some more words here before we play a song. Head on into the night. We definitely made up for the having the, the full poo earlier on with, yeah, the, uh, with the DDP thing. Yeah. That, that was just like, then, yeah. after, then after the phone, I started hitting buttons, and I was turning my own buttons off. Like, oh. after the interview and stuff, I was hitting the, you know, like, yeah, when we Don came around, I, I ended up, like, after when DDP didn't come back on, I thought it was my fault, so I just, go like, maybe next time, maybe I need to hit that mono off, and then I left that off when it came back on for the oh, Don thing. Oh, so then this, 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 this was, Yeah, this was on the whole time for the DDP thing, yeah. but I you thought, because, you know, maybe it was my end, but it was the phone, but this time... We got. I turned it back on. Thankfully, <laughs> thank it, uh, you, rock gods. Yeah, because yeah, no you lined that up proper. Don James, what a, a funny guy. Not afraid to uh, mix it up a little bit too. I, uh, I, yeah. I got yeah. a little. I got a little full down in the fans for their reading, and he ended up putting me right back in my spot. But he <laughs> Get did it. A little edgy towards the interview. I love that. Oh yeah, Don James, and and our devil. We we do uh, offer our apologies to DDP and his phone connection. Yeah. yeah. I mean. We were really getting into that. Now, we, does that mean we don't have to exercise? Uh-oh. I guess, man. <laughs> I think I, so. I was just totally getting we worked up. We get to stuff our faces on Thanksgiving. Then. <laughs> yeah, big plans for you heading up to that Bush Green or whatever it's called. <laughs> it's called Green Bush. There. Heading up to the man, yeah. Slauson Manor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You better tell them to get it checked or something. <laughs> all right. Oh. All right. Well, what's exciting in that big town? What do you guys do for shindigs up there? Uh, well, there is a place called Remedies. <laughs> Remedies. Now, have you, now, now, you have you been inside Remedies? Have you, have well, you, my dad used to work there. He used to be the uh, part-time manager. He was the bouncer. His name was Dalton. Yeah. Is that the place that serves those roofy coladas? I think so. Oh we yeah. Make them, we make them homemade now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of that place, man. Well, I mean, I don't know. Greenbush, you know, see, I live in Thief River now. At Greenbush, will always be my hometown. But at Thief River, there's something better over here. <laughs> I used to pass through there on the way up to Roseau. I was uh, yeah, doing yeah. some plumbing up there and well, hanging around with this a, chick. Are you a master plumber or something? Oh, sorry. Uh, I, I plumbing, you know. Yeah, yeah. he's a jack of all trades. That's know. right, man. I do radio plumbing. Oh, Open yeah. heart surgery. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a soldering <laughs> gun. I can fix it, man. He's giving me the best home tattoos I think I've so, ever so, gotten. So <laughs> are you also saying you're the I master? learned in jail. <laughs> are, you, are you also saying you're the master of plumber's crack? <laughs> uh, yeah, man. <laughs> I don't know. I just figured I'd throw uh, that one out Is your name there. Sugar Sean or are you Randy? Randy. <laughs> Randy Savage? No, anyway. not Randy Savage. <laughs> well, we got some music news and hard rockin' news. Uh, hard rockin' and collectibles news, my friends. <laughs> collectibles. <Just kidding. laughs> Collectible and trading card company Press Pass have announced the postponement of the new line of ACDC trading cards oh. that were originally oh. scheduled for release this month. They were, all, they were top of my Jeez. Christmas list. Right. Johnson's a no way. 
I think after you did that one song with that kid song, I think they decided not to... Are they got too much mercury <laughs> in the ink or what? I don't know. <laughs> a statement on the company's website says, We regret to announce that the ACDC product has been postponed indefinitely. Damn, dog. Man. Damn. Get all worked up. I was going to gamble with those yeah. cards. Oh, yeah. man, I was going to, you know, let them, let them uh, have them sit around for a couple of years. Yeah. Then take them to the card show. Yeah. Maybe trade for some Pokemon. You know, maybe yeah. whatever. Some old NBA hoops basketball cards from the 90s. Yeah, some skybox. swap it around, man. I, I, I was going to really broker for maybe, you know, a Shaquille O'Neal rookie or something. Nice. Yeah, well, it, it definitely says uh, we will let you know if the situation changes. Well, that's very nice, very caring. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. I'm looking at the – there's no contact page on this. <laughs> oh, we got to get our hard-hitting investigative team on that one, man. Would they be worth two in a bush? You know, take them to the <laughs> take them to the auction and see if they're worth two in a bush. <laughs> this guy watches too much PBS. Too much Geico. I think so. I think so. <laughs> the 100. Uh, this, hey, this is uh, this ain't no one or two uh, collector's edition Highway to Hell card. Uh, this is the 100 card set, and it was designed to follow AC/DC through the band's history from their Australian beginnings. You know when they were in that skiffle group. Yep. Uh, to their recent Black Ice tour, the top selling trek of 2010. I still so, like the Bond Scott days. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know what? I'm a, I'm a Bond fan, but I can respect Brian's contribution. He's kept it up for 30 years now, so that you gotta you gotta respect that. Yeah. And give it where it's due. I dig it. You know, while Tommy Lee, now we're gonna talk about before we go, one more shot, one more kiss before we go. While Tommy Lee might not be People Magazine's sexiest man of the year, that would be uh, Green Lantern actor Ryan Reynolds. I saw you looking at that People I thought Magazine. It was Seth the Rogen there, sexist that's man the there. green that's the green hornet. <laughs> oh, okay. He still has a say in what makes someone sexy. Wow. Yeah, he's got a say in this, like it matters. The Motley Crue drummer is featured in the sexiest man issue, showing off his man cave. Yeah, this is where I got the nice plush pillows. This is this is where I got the vintage painting over here. Uh when you're trying here's what he had to say. Okay, he's got okay, he tells people that what makes you sexy is when you're just yourself. With about three, four million dollars too. When you're, when you're trying to be somebody else, or when you're trying too hard, I don't think it's sexy. Addressing his own sex appeal, after all, he was famously, infamously uh, married to Pamela Anderson. Yeah. yeah. So, so was I briefly. But he says sometimes I feel sexy, sometimes you don't. Well, he's just, okay, here we go. He goes. He adds, "There's certain days where you're like, man, I'm looking rough today, Tommy." It's <laughs> terrible. What's up, bro? Tommy Lee. Yeah, but he also says there are days that he tells his girlfriend that I can't wait till tomorrow. She's like, why, babe? I go, I just keep getting better looking every day. It's the craziest thing. <laughs> Himbo. <laughs> he loves himself. I interviewed Tommy <laughs> Lee once, man. He's did, did, all right. Was he looking pretty? Was he pretty good looking that day or what? No, no, it was over the phone, but it was kind of weird. Uh, his publicist got on the phone, and I was like, she's like, is this a live interview on the air? And I'm like, yeah, I'll throw it on mini disc. I don't care, you know? Oh, well, yeah, you, you, you know how to win. You know how to work, kid. And she goes through the whole thing about what I can't and can't ask him, you know? She's like, oh, yeah, don't talk anything about Pamela or whatever. Oh, yeah, he's got the, the laundry list yeah. of things you can't talk about. Yeah, but it was all right. That's a quick what, what, Three what, was that interview. was that was that for crew related stuff or was it the on the solo stuff? Related? No, it was for crew stuff for their upcoming concert, whatever it was in Forks. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, that yeah. was a few years. So I wonder yeah. if he had like a mirror right by himself, so, so, you know, like any time you go out in public, you'd be like the next Mister Wonderful, Paul Orndorff or whatever. Just have a <laughs> <laughs> have a mirror right by him and say, "I'm so beautiful." I, I think Tommy <laughs> Lee's pretty down to earth. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you enjoy the interview overall, then. Yeah, I mean, it, we BS most of the time. Yeah. He's like, hey, bro, you better next time you come out to Cali, man, I'm going to hook you up with some Primo, baby. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, hey. He was all concerned about how cold it was up here and stuff, man. I said, hey, what, man. That ain't no thing, man. <laughs> get, a, get a big fur coat or something. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, if that share can handle it, man, you can handle it. Dude, dude. that dude can handle anything. <laughs> well, guys, it's uh, 5 to 9. We had some ups and downs, but we had some mostly ups again. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> hey, we still got 10 minutes out of DDP, though. 
Oh yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, right? we, yeah. yeah we got him. Uh, we got him to tell us before uh, he ran out of airtime. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's probably heading over to.